Hi guys, so I'm gonna do a haul video and I guess I have a lot to show but I just haven't done a haul video in quite a while so this is stuff that I bought I guess in the last three months um, but I thought maybe um, you know some of you would like to see it so um, these are Alta New uh, stamps and I got them from their uh, website it was back in August and I've already used this set on a video of mine you can find it in my channel I think it was in um, yeah August probably and I love this set and it's just turned um, but you have you can layer the uh, flowers and then there are I don't do cards um, but like most of these things I can use also on scrapbook page I miss you lots uh, sending hugs your way uh, what would I do without you um, smile the thank you and congratulations probably won't be used but every once in a blue moon I also make a card so I can use it on that and this one is called scribbled flowers this one is called uh, magnolias for her and I just I have a thing with um, flower stamps um, so I just uh, wanted a couple this one is called sketchy rose and I just love this image um, I have used it on a few projects but um, I didn't uh, video them so um, yeah but it's like really really lovely uh, images and this one is called Persian motifs um, and I blame Jennifer McGuire for this one I actually haven't used it uh, yet so I really should and a couple more stamps um, this stuff some of it it's kind of a mishmash of a few places. The Alta New I ordered from their webpage. Um, these I ordered from a store in Ireland. I'm in Austria, so I try um, if I can buy in Europe. Um, I I'll, I try to do that because first of all I want to support the more local uh, stores, um, but also uh, shipping is really fast. And um, yeah, much, much, much cheaper than in America, than if I order from the U.S., but then in the U.S., the products themselves are cheaper, so I have to see what is um, worth it for me. Anyway, these are stamps of these pretty roses, and the company is called Third Eye. The shop in Ireland, I will put a link, I think it's called Mixed Media Place, something like that, and it's really mostly... Um, like mixed media stuff but they have a good selection of things so there's the small one which is about an inch and a little bit and the big one is two inches and what else did I get from them I think I got well I'm not sure but some of it is from Simon's stamp and some of it is from um, from this uh, store in Ireland. I got a couple of stencils. This is called, this is from Prima and I don't see a name, there's only the uh, number, but yeah it's this really nice. I, I thought it would be great for texture uh, for backgrounds. And this is really, really basic um, circle stencil something. It's called Stencil Honeycomb. Um, and I like also the size. It's six and a half inches on ten and a quarter of an inch. So that's nice. And another stencil that I got is this one. And yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know how it's called but I just really liked these flower images yeah I have a thing with flowers and the words are nice but I mostly got it for uh, this 
So that's in the stencil department and stamps that also showed. And I don't know. I have never been a huge uh, fan of Prima Flowers. I never actually bought Prima Flowers until uh, now, kind of in the recent collections. They had, actually I'm not sure how recent that this is, but they had a few, I saw um, vellum flowers and I love vellum and I really had to um, get some and try them out. And the thing with uh, Prima, like for me, if you know my style, when I saw the images of these flowers on the uh, website, I think I got these from Simon Says Stamp, um, the image is like really beautiful and the background I think is kind of the, they put the flowers on kind of a watercolored background. And then you get the packages and the packages are all kind of this um, brown uh, background and somehow they look less exciting for me at least because I like bright and more modern I guess uh, even though with this haul uh, I guess I'm going in a little bit a different direction um, so yeah but when you take them out it's just I really love the I think it goes with my style. I'm not going to put like 10 flowers on one layout, but just one or two. Um, I, I really love this detail. It's a bit more romantic, I guess, and um, yeah, feminine. I don't know, but I really, I really like these. So these are uh, vellum flowers. And these I loved. Um, these are just leaves and they're also vellum and they're printed. And I just, I'm not loving all the um, patterns, but this one, for example, I love this, this stripe. And then there's this, um, there's like feathers and polka dots. Really, really sweet. I just used it now on a layout and I really love it. I think it's like super cute and I'm going to have a lot of fun using it, especially black and white. It means that I can go crazy with the other colors. Uh, these are also vellum and... I am a little bit disappointed with, they kind of look a little bit cheap to me and, um, you know, the finishing is not very high, I would say, on these flowers. Also, the color of this, I don't know, it's kind of like a raised material. It's a bit too beige for my liking. I would have liked it if it was white. Um, but I did use two of these on a layout and I really loved how that turned out. You can see it on my channel. So, um, yeah, so I think I will like them, but they don't look exactly like I thought they would. Um, I loved the colors of these. I'm not sure about this one, um, but the other colors I love, like this minty aqua. And this is from the Coffee Break collection. Um, some more vellum flowers. Um, yeah, these are kind of, they're very dimensional and I'm not sure about the glitter, so we'll see. Um, and these are again this printed vellum and these are just like the flower shapes so you can layer them and um, just add your own uh, thing in the middle or not, um, but I really like these. And some bling, you've got to have some bling. It's say it in crystals and I just love these. I love the colors and uh, there are 32 here. They are self-adhesive and they are sparkly and pretty and I also got, I love this. This is like really really great. It's like dark um, gray and light gray. Well it's all shiny and sparkly so and also this one um, this one is from the Cartographer collection. This one is the Stationer's Desk. And it's, yeah, it changes colors with the light. It's really beautiful. And this one is from Free Spirit. And what else? Oh, some more flowers. These are also from the Coffee Break. And I just loved the colors. And then the, like, feathers in black and white. I just thought it was, like, super fun. And these are some resin shapes. Um, 
very different from what I usually do but because they are white and you know kind of like shabby chic I guess I think they would look great with the type of backgrounds and layouts that I make so all in moderation um, and this one I blame uh, Nicole Jones for that one uh, this is watercolor paper I didn't even know this thing existed until I saw her get it um, but I thought it would be fun to play with watercolor and then add this to your layout uh, instead of like doing a whole page um, which is sometimes a little bit more intimidating um, yeah so these are 24 sheets they are three and a half inch by eight and a half and they are watercolor paper in huge tag shape so that's pretty cool and these are another example of something that looks really great in the web page like on the photo and then it has this kind of cheap looking packaging <laughs> uh, but that's okay uh, these are called pebbles and they are just clear um, yeah whatever they are they are very dimensional so I'm not sure how um, this will work on my layouts but I'll give it a try especially the big ones they're really huge and these I was really excited about these are also Prima they are resist canvas and there are just not sure the camera can see it but um, so another thing I got and this was kind of funny because I got it like delivered and then I think the next day or something I saw Tuesday make a great video about um, a few things she tried with these guys so these are Mod Podge melts and you put them in your uh, hot glue gun and um, and then you can um, like create these uh, shapes and I got two molds and they're actually a bit smaller than I thought but I guess for what I wanted which was to create these resin like embellishments for my pages I guess it's actually the perfect size it's just you know you see something uh, online and then when you get it it's like oh that's the size of it um, but yeah I guess it's good so these are like silicone molds and they are from Mod Podge but you can use um, you know the Martha Stewart ones or any silicone um, uh, molds you have and this is just like some uh, examples and I really like how this look the only um, thing I have with these is that you need certain types of like they, they make it look on the Mod Podge um, like videos or something but that you can do anything with these and maybe you can but um, I there were a lot of mediums that don't stick well to these um, pretty much only like acrylic um, inks and paints uh, worked for me um, maybe it's just me but I also saw that Tuesday had um, uh, adventures with these guys um, so I don't think it's like super easy and you can use like every every other thing everything you have um, but they are fun and yeah I really like I really like using little embellishments on my pages so I think this will be really fun um, another thing is I bought one package of these and there are 16 pieces and I think I used two or something to create um, like these and a couple of more so it's not a lot I mean it's it's okay but um, yeah I guess I don't know I guess it's just ran out faster than I expected but um, yeah there's no big mystery here uh, it's the same material so I don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say I guess that I will if I want to make a lot of these I will need to buy more and for me it's always a problem because I have to order things online I have nothing available uh, locally uh, but actually it's okay so that is that and I added to my collection of um, Dina Wakely uh, paints the color sky um, it's quite 
it's not quite a, it's very well it's different than the turquoise um, but I think I love them both um, it's it's really colors that I enjoy using now but I think you could probably mix the sky with um, the Sorry, you could mix it with a uh, lime and probably get something very similar to turquoise. So um, if you want to save some bucks, um, I think you could get these two and then you don't need the turquoise, even though I really love this color. So, you know, it's always, this is like easy because I don't have to mix it and um, yeah, but then it costs more. And uh, a couple of things I picked up from my um, like art supply store is I got a big um, jar of gesso and this is kind of I think their house brand so it's quite cheap and um, yeah I think I'm not gonna run out of gesso anytime soon and What I also got is, this is from the same brand, and this is Transparent Filler, it's called. And um, it's a soft milky gel, tries by water evaporation, and is extremely resistant to cracking, even in a thick layer, at little loss of volume. Increases the transparency and brilliance of acrylic colors. So it's just kind of like um, transparent uh, modeling paste. And um, yeah, it's just fun to play with uh, because it doesn't really change the color of, you know, paint that you add to it, whereas uh, white modeling paste will make everything uh, whiter. So that's why I got this. And another uh, adventure in <laughs> scrapbooking. Oh, and I also got this one, uh, Color Bloom. I have a ton of mists, so I find it like a bit hard to justify getting more mists, even though, don't get me started on distress stain mists, I kind of want them all. Um, but I just really, really loved this color. This is soft teal, so I just got the one, and uh, I haven't used it on a layout yet, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, this is from Prima, these are the color blooms. and. Yeah, another thing I picked up at my art store is this um, calligraphy uh, ink. And this is red and it's pearlescent and it's just gorgeous. And I just really loved, I don't think with the light you can really see, but it's just this beautiful coral color. And um, I do have like this calligraphy pen, um, so I may use it uh, like that or I'll, I'll just add splatters. I just really loved the color. It's just gorgeous. And a few other fun things I got. This was really already in August, I think. I got a bunch of, these are not all of them, but I got a bunch of like the Liquitex uh, ink. Um, I have a few more and these are the colors that I have here. And these are like the metallics. They come in, um, yeah, a few colors. And my favorites are probably the magenta and the vivid red orange because it's kind of a warm um, red, an orangey red, and probably also the lime. Um, so I do keep kind of a swatch like this for easy reference. And um, what is cool about these is that you can kind of play with them like you would with the watercolors, but they are permanent. So once they're on your page, you know, it's also advantage-disadvantage type of thing, but um, um, yeah, I do like the fact that they are permanent and you can add more layers and nothing will happen. The gray is also nice. And, um, and then there are the um, metallic ones and they're all pretty, although probably my colors are more the iridescent bright gold and the iridescent bright silver which are really, really beautiful. There's also a bronze and a copper, and they're very nice. Um, I just don't use these colors as much, but this came kind of in a, a package, like four metallics and black and white. So um, that's why I got also the other two. 
Um, so these have been like really fun to play with and you can of course mix them with modeling paste just so um, that transparent uh, modeling paste that I showed you and um, other acrylic colors yeah whatever you want they're really fun to play with and the last thing that is probably you know just way too um, like a big expense and I'm not sure it will justify it is these guys these are acrylic they are called silks and they are acrylic glaze and these are quite pricey and the packages is the package is quite small um, I don't know I'll try and put it next to something that people know these are the flat Fabios so just to get you a give you a sense of the size of these or this is a Mr. Huey so they are kind of small this is a embossing powder um, but but they are shimmery gorgeousness they are full of uh, mica powder and they are just gorgeous there are a ton of colors and it's really really hard to choose I am trying to get a good selection so that I can mix uh, my own colors and I don't have to get a lot more and yeah I I only played a little bit with these I haven't really used them on my pages yet um, but I am trying to do that so these are the colors I have and I try to organize them like this according to color and you can see what I feel like I need is um, a, one or two more blues and maybe one uh, orange one. Um, my favorite colors from the ones I have are probably the vintage mint. This is this one. It's this beautiful mint and it's shimmery and the teal zircon is also very, very pretty and I like the wisteria it's also a lovely kind of uh, warm um, purple and yeah I like all the pinks I guess but watermelon mist is this really pretty kind of I guess um, it's more of a muted uh, pink and the pixie pink is also fun so yeah these are you know what can I say it's I, 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 I really hope I will use them um, on my pages enough to justify the cost um, because they are quite quite pricey and they are a glaze so they are kind of um, like semi-transparent that means they layer beautifully on top of each other um, but if you don't want to uh, make the investment in such um, things you can also get this is acrylic glazing liquid and this is a gloss finish this is from golden I got it at the local art supply store and um, it says acrylic medium used to extend the working time of acrylic paints useful for creating glazes and increasing flow leveling and blend blendability of all golden acrylic colors of course you can use them with whatever um, acrylics you have and um, yeah you add this to your um, paint and then you can create a glaze and the glaze is um, a semi-transparent uh, layer and it's really really great for uh, layering because you can still see what is under it but you can add a color or tone things down so I have been playing um, with this and um, it's really really fun uh, medium to play with I think that's it that's very long I am waiting for um, a package from Scraptastic and also some uh, acrylic paints that I ordered um, so yeah that's my haul thanks for watching bye hi guys so I think this will be the last part of the haul I just received this uh, package and this is from open book and 
It is double-sided specialty paper. This side is gold polka dot on a kind of charcoal background. And this side is a ledger um, also with gold treatment. It's so, so pretty. Um, again, from Open Book, this is gorgeousness. Um, yep, gold vellum. Lovely. And some more specialty paper because I can never have too much uh, vellum with gold. Uh, this is kind of like dictionary uh, paper. This is from um, Webster's Pages, uh, All That Glitters. So this is, um, I guess, their Christmas line, kind of. And I think this is really pretty. I would probably frame it and hang it on like my wall. Um, but for my pages, I might use that. I don't think I will use it as a 12 by 12. I think I will cut it down, but I just love, I really love um, the details on this. From All That Glitters, Webster's Pages. I just love this side. I mean, this is a beautiful mint, and then there are these polka dots that are like gold glitter. It's it's only paper, it's not uh, like gold treated, but it's just so pretty. And the other side is cute, but um, I'm definitely gonna use this side. Um, some vellum. This is from All That Glitters, and I just love these uh, images. Just so pretty. And, I mean, vellum with pictures of glitter. What do you need more? It's just so pretty. I just love it. And this is from Nest, I think that's how it's called. It's also Webster's Pages. I just love this side. I mean, this is like super cute. Actually, maybe I got it for this side. I don't know. Both sides are really, really cute. Maybe I'll cut out a few of the feathers and then use this side. I should have gotten two. And this is, again, from Nest, from Webster's Pages. And, oh, I know why I got this paper. Actually, I didn't even look at this side, and I really love it. I should have gotten uh, two of these. But why I got this paper is here. It says... Um, Styria, which is, I I think this is from some, like, Italian print or something, but Styria is the name of the county where I live in Austria. So, um, yeah, I just, I thought I would cut it out. This is not my thing at all, um, but I'll cut this part out and then uh, use this paper because I really, really like this side. And just one paper I got from the open book because I got a lot of it in my October hip kit so I didn't feel the need um, to get some more. But I love this side. This is my perfect paper for backgrounds. So I had to pick it up. And speaking of open book, um, I got a few of the embellishments that didn't come in the, in hip, like with the October hip kit. And one thing that I had to get because I love chipboard. Chipboard is like my favorite um, embellishment type. So this is from the open book and I just love, yeah, all the images. I'm not sure what I will do with this woman here with a camera, but um, everything else is lovely. Lovely, lovely. Love it. And from open book I got the fabric brads. Um, I'm not a huge fan of brads, but these are so pretty and I love the colors. So, um, yeah, I'm really, I really wanted to get those. And these are glitter ribbon bows. I love little embellishments. Um, and I love bows and these are glitter, so it's all good. And this I'm especially excited about. This is the floral ephemera. And I have been dreaming of a floral ephemera pack for like, well, not forever, but a long time in scrapbooking uh, time span. And yeah, I'm just like super excited. I always hoard the floral pieces from ephemera packs. And 
yeah and now I have 102 pieces so these are like florals and then there are leaves I just love it and there's like vellum and gold it's gorgeous really really gorgeous and speaking of vellum I also picked up the vellum um, ephemera pack vellum shapes and yeah I just I really really love using vellum and I got also the rub-ons and the um, gold stickers so I think I will just add these to my October hip kit and use it all together because I still have a few of the papers from the open book and the last two things I got this is from Webster's Pages Nest and I don't usually buy um, alpha stickers because I have enough with my kids and but these were just too pretty it's like different shades of like pink and corals and I just had to get them and this is Heidi Swap uh, embellishments and it's uh, mistables which I love because that means you can customize them to whatever color scheme you have so I hope this is not the world's longest um, haul and yeah, thanks for watching.